So, what's up Divas? It's your girl April. So, this video is going to be something really quick and fast. L'Oreal Techniques Red, which you can get from Sally's. So, the hair that I'm going to be using today is by Sunder. This is their Virgin Deep Wave Hair. I did get four bundles. I got a 24 inch, a 22, a 20, an 18, and an 18 inch closure. I love Deep Wave Hair because it's so full. So the first thing we're going to start off with is... You're gonna definitely need some gloves. I got these from the dollar store, but you're gonna definitely need the color of your choice, and you're also gonna need some developer. So you can either use 30 or 40 developer. Unfortunately, I didn't have any 40, but I got a whole lot of 30, which I'm gonna use. Measuring cup, so you'll need one of these and 2.4 fluid ounces of your developer of choice. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use these three L'Oreal highlights. The color that I have is called red, and the easiest way to get any type of dye out for me, I just went ahead and cut the bottom out or cut the bottom open so that way it'll just easily slide out instead of making it take like forever to go through that little tiny hole. So that is what I'm going to do and that is what I'm doing to all of them. As you see here, I'm just going to cut the bottom open and easy peasy. See how easy that is? Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this old baby bottle. Nobody's using it and I'm going to measure out the exact amount. I'm going to do it three times because I have three L'Oreal highlights and I just find it much easier to do it for each one so that way I don't make any mistakes. I'm going to take my brush and get the excess, the excess um, developer out. So as you can see I'm using 30 developer and I'm going to stir it up really well in this big huge dye bowl. I call it my dye bowl because hey I'm only going to use it for hair so I do actually keep it upstairs in my bathroom so no one in my household accidentally uses it for food. Okay, so you want to make sure you stir it up really well and there's no lumps or bumps in it because trust and believe it will have lumps. So go ahead and protect your surface. I used a trash bag and I went ahead and combed some of the curls out. I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to start painting that red hair dye on. It is a little time consuming when it's red and sometimes you can't thoroughly, thoroughly saturate the entire bundles when you're brushing it on. So um, sometimes what I do is I take the entire bundle and I just put it inside of the bowl and I saturate the hair really, really well. So this portion right here is me doing the closure. I don't want the roots darkened. Normally when I do any type of hair dyeing, especially if it's a closure, I do it a little bit different, but this time I'm just gonna do something totally out the norm. And as you see here, I'm just using all of that excess red. I went ahead and I just take all the red and just rubbed it on as you see with my hands. This makes the process a whole lot easier. I know that it's gonna get into the hair. So, I mean, it's just easy for me. This may not be what everybody else likes to do but for me I know that all the hair is actually saturated next to using the actual painting brush or the hair dye brush this just makes the whole process easier as well as that is if you have like a really big bowl you can also go ahead and saturate the hair in that but make sure that you're protecting your bundles as you see I'm doing right here there is kind of like a broken portion in the bowl so I kind of do lay some of the hair over that so that way I don't get the entire bundles red because I do want to leave some darkness some natural color to the bundles as well as to the closure just to make it look like the hair is growing out of my roots now some people use um, aluminum foil to process their hair some people use 
plastic. I don't use aluminum foil anymore. I only use plastic even if I'm bleaching hair. I only use plastic because it's not really safe and it's not really good on using metal products against any type of hair. So I'm just going to finish it up right here along with that. And once I'm finished just placing all of the leftover red dye onto this, I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to wrap the bundles up in this plastic bag for probably about two hours in length. Three days later. The hair from Sun Bear is finished. It came out so pretty. Um, I actually went ahead and hung it upside down to dry today. Um, or basically some of it. I had to respray it down because I did just leave it on a mannequin to dry. But I needed some fullness. So, so I did put two parts in this. At first I wanted a middle part. And then I was like, nah, I think I want a side part. So I put a side part in it. But it also does have a middle pre-tweeze part in it as well. So we're going to get into this and see how this goes because I'm really excited to try this wig out. Alright you guys, so it's now time. I did sew some combs in this unit. There are three combs I do believe I sewed in. And I'm going to go ahead and place this on my head. I did want a frontal, but you know what? I love closures. Closures are so much easier for me. As you did see, I was putting a little bit of my makeup concealer on it. And I'm going to go ahead and take my rat tail comb and pull a little bit of my own natural hair out in the front. So that way it just blends in seamlessly into this closure. This unit is really, really full. It is the four full bundles of hair it was probably like three inches of hair that I did not use but like hey I had dyed it all so I wanted to actually use all of the hair so like I said it is very full and long and the color came out really really pretty I did rewash it after I made it because the hair was all over the place so I needed to kind of like tame the hair and get the curls to fall all in one spot so I did rewash it after I created the unit I'm using my topic hair filler fibers right here that is just great so if you have very thin edges no edges then topic is a really great product it will give you an appearance as if you have very full edges and there's just very small tiny little hair particles you can get the product from Sally's also you can definitely get it online there are many different brands besides topic and it does come in a variety of colors but I, I use this a lot on a lot of my wigs because my edges are very thin but even if they're not thin it always allows your wigs to blend in seamlessly Yes, ladies, yes. Okay, she is really long. The hair is a little bit long, but it came out so pretty. Um, I really wanted it to kind of resemble the one that I had made, like, a while ago I think it was like a year ago and it was different hair it was kind of the same hair but it was a different hair company and the color was a little bit more redder than this but I didn't want it as red but I wanted that same kind of look so I went ahead and just did this the same thing but I did it a little bit different it was more the red was up a little bit further but I didn't want it so so high up in the wig um, it came out really nice though I do like the color I just don't like my hair as long so I don't really know if this is something that I would wear all the time because it's so long, you know what I'm saying? But the color is like bomb, okay? It's bomb ass. And the hair texture, it did change a little bit. Like, it did lose a little bit of its curls, to be honest. I left this red in the hair probably for like two hours. I honestly almost forgot about it, but I didn't forget about it. I really wanted it to kind of like really hold. I wanted the color to really stick because sometimes when you don't put it on for long enough, it really doesn't adhere to the hair. So I really wanted it to grasp. I used the 30 developer like you guys see, but for the most part, the hair, it came out really pretty. Like I said, some of the curls did loosen because it was supposed to be a deep wave. So I think if it was really a deep wave, the curls would have been much tighter. But either way, all you got to do is hang the hair upside down and you'll get those curls in it that's the reason why I went ahead and hung it upside down um, but you know with me I love closures they're just so much more simpler for me to wear um, I don't really like to do all the lace frontals sometimes I do it all depends on the mood I'm in but for front for closures girl I can just put it on and be gone and done it's a lot of hair I used every last bundle when I say every last bundle meaning I kind of like kept the tracks folded in half just because I wanted all the hair on it. If I wouldn't have done that, then I wouldn't have been able to fit all the hair 
on this cap but other than that it came out really pretty I think they have some really great hair they do they do have a warehouse in California so just keep that in mind if you buy it from their website it will come from you from their warehouse in California like I said the curls did loosen a little bit but there's still some curl there it's a lot of hair it's very full but um maybe if I was to cut it I probably wouldn't feel as much um, feel so bad about it the ends are still healthy looking but it is a lot of hair and it is to me very long so yeah but for the most part you can definitely check them out i'll post all of their information below i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and as always stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe i love you guys and i'll see y'all in a soon to come video